The intention of some Western countries to impose a price cap on Russian oil and maybe gas is pushing crude prices down below 90 US dollars per barrel. Meanwhile, Russia has once again warned that it would cut off supply to these countries who support the initiative. This creates a threat of the biggest energy shortage in the history of the region. At the moment, the two sides are just exchanging threats and hesitating to take action. Yet, if the parties finally keep their promises, the energy market may plunge into panic and the oil price prices may skyrocket. Yesterday, Brent oil futures broke below the key level of 90 US dollars per barrel, and this move proves that speculators are trying to change the current market trend. In other words, market participants are building a medium-term downtrend. If this scenario is a true and the price holds firmly below the mark of 90, traders may add more short positions on the instrument. Apparently, markets are concerned about a possible slowdown in global economic activity due to new lockdown measures in China, one of the world's largest oil consumers. Besides, the global economy stays under pressure from aggressive monetary tightening by central banks that are rapidly raising rates to fight inflation. On a Wednesday, gold slipped below the level of $1,700 per ounce at some point in a trading. And this is what may happen to gold uh, today when the European Central Bank announces a rate hike. And this rate increase may be the biggest in the history of the European Union regulator. Experts agree that the fund's rate will be raised by 75 basis points, and this decision will increase the cost of borrowing funds, which is a bearish factor for gold. So it's likely that today the precious metal will start its gradual decline towards $1,700 per three ounces. The bearish scenario that will extend the current sell-off cycle will be activated when the price settles below the level of $1,680 on the daily chart. An uptrend will be possible only in a case of a proper upside correction. The first bullish signal may appear when the price holds above $1,730 per ounce on the 4-hour chart. Meanwhile, nothing is changing for the dollar-ruble pair. The only difference is that the quote is rising above the level of 61 rubles per dollar more often. And this is how the ruble reacts to a decline in the oil market, although the impact is quite moderate. The main factor for the ruble is still the decision of the Russian Ministry of Finance regarding the currency interventions, obviously. This issue is under decision, and the rubles for the trajectory will depend on the scope and the type of foreign exchange interventions. Until then, the ruble will stay firm. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.